Hey friends, Jacqueline here. In today's video, I'm bringing you my one and done eyeshadows. But before we get started, and if you're new here, I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel, ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads, and come and follow me on my Instagram. And now, if you want to know what are those single eyeshadows that will create an amazing look out of one swipe, then just keep on watching. Another Vlogmas day, my friends. I'm super excited for today's video. I have been looking forward to do this tag right here of the one and done eyeshadow. I don't know really who created it. I just saw it like, you know, going around everywhere. I think perhaps the first person that I watched doing it was Stephanie Marie. And then after that, many other creators. So I thought, you know what? I have to do it. And then the have to do it passed and passed. And I think it passed like almost two months since that tag was going on. And I said, you know what? I think it could be perfect for Vlogmas because sometimes, I mean, I know that we are not like you know going out and congregating with a lot of people it's just basically family but even if you jump in a zoom meeting or even if you are gathering with your family at a distance through zoom you can just use one of these eyeshadows and you know what it's not that life is gonna be forever this way we're gonna just but you know life continues goes on and we just need to make the best out of it and I just have here some little treasures and honestly they are little because they are one they are single eyeshadows I decided to go for single eyeshadows and not grab something from a palette because I just want to really give you those eyeshadows that to me they are like okay with these eyeshadows swipe and then you get a look so the first one is the one that I'm wearing today can you guess which one it is I'm sure you can guess perhaps well it has to be Chantecaille their luminescent eyeshades I don't have all of them but I do have many of them and the one that I'm using today is in Pangeline in fact I do have a couple eyeshadows on my eyelids I have three of my single ones that I will let you know which ones they are and then I have a base that I will be leaving it on the description box below but anyhow this one, out of all of them, this one is my favorite one. This is in the shade Pangeline, and it's this beautiful, dusty mauve tone that it has a um, purple undertone with a little bit of pink. I mean, it's beautiful, cool tone shade, gorgeous. This one swipe, and it's incredible. The beautiful thing about the formula of these Chantecai single luminescent eyeshades is that you can just do it with your fingers just as I did it right now and then you can blend the edges and they do have a base so in fact it just blends by itself all around it they are just gorgeous and they just came out with a couple new shades so it seems like they are just gonna start expanding and expanding the line and that makes me super excited so another one of these luminescent eyeshades that I think is gorgeous too is the one in Z and this one I love it because it has a little bit more pink in it a little bit more of like rose gold look at this oh, that flip they are both different in fact the one in zebra has just a little bit of coral in it too should I say coral not peach like peach more like peach and it's not as cool tone as Fangeline I mean you will not go wrong and then if you want a very impressive, glam, smoky eye look, you have to go with Victoria Beckham Beauty. And this one right here is in the shade Mink. I have a couple other ones that I like. I will talk about them in a second, but look at this. Oh, this is kind of like a very deep pewter tone very very cool tone so this one right here you can just do a little bit of like a cool tone brown or like even a gray tone this one right here you just need you know like to do one swipe and because again it does have a base you can create an amazing amazing smoky eye can you see that I mean it's deep pewter yet it does have a little bit of like a 
I will say, you know, if you see it on different lights, you can tell that it has like a red undertone in it. And that's why it gives so much dimension. It does have a little bit of glitter, not as much as the two right here from Chantecaille. In fact, Pangeline from Chantecaille has a little bit more glitter. The one in Zebra, it doesn't that much, pretty much nothing. It just has a little bit of shimmer in it. But the one right here from Victoria Beckham has a little bit of sparkles, minimals. And then also another thing that is very important to note is the one from Victoria Beckham has a cream base so it's just so soft on the eyelids and the reason why i chose and I, I, i'm just gonna say it perhaps in one time right here these specific eyeshadows too is because not only they are beautiful on payoff and how easy they are to you know create a, just one look with them you just need like I said, one swipe and then blend them. But also I do have a lot of folds on my eyelids. I'm 40 years old, soon to be 41, or perhaps when you see this video, I'm already 41. I don't know, my birthday, um, okay. <laughs> so anyhow, I do have a lot of fine lines, you know, folds on my eyelids. My eyelids are not as firm as they used to be. So when I look for these type of eyeshadows, I want them to be, like super smooth super smooth okay and then since we're in the victoria beckham world right here she just came out with a couple new shades but the one that i'm like oh, fascinated with is in tea rose this one right here i'm mean, like you will see kind of like um <laughs> something that is very notorious about me is i do love mauve purple tones cool tones or like rosy tone base and look at this right here oh. ah this is just stunning this has it doesn't look you know from a swatch like this or even from the pod as it has so much pink in it but it does have pink it does have a little bit of like a purpley undertone i have done you know on the new victoria beckham beauty and also on the new chantecaille luminescent eye shades just dedicated reviews to them with a lot of comparisons so if you're like in doubt after this video you can also go check them out right there because and many of these like i have okay i will tell you some some turtle tilbury ones too <laughs> and many more okay so these right here do you see like when i actually swatch it this way how much pinkier it looks in comparisons to the other ones i mean gorgeous stunning and this one also have little amount of glitters the thing that i really love about these eyeshadows too is that i don't find fallout with these eyeshadows which is rare mostly when we talk about hey they they have glitter you know do i need to apply a glitter glue no you don't because they are just so finely meal that it's just you know mesmerizing it doesn't go everywhere like I said, they are just stunning. The formulation of each of these single eyeshadows, they are just oh, divine. And then let's go into Hourglass. So the one from Hourglass that I really like is the one in the shade Smoke. Now this one right here is more like taupey tone and formulation wise is very alike. I mean, the one from Victoria Beckham, you will find it, I, should, I don't wanna say crumbly, but if you compare it to say this Hourglass one, it will feel a little bit more, you know, like thicker in consistency, I should say. So I have here the shade Smoke, and I also love the shade Ray. Is that correct? Yeah, Ray. It's this one right here. Now, this is in a different packaging because this one I got it last year. They had a set. I know I have seen certain retailers that they still have a set of three of these it just looks so beautiful and again the consistency is very soft also this is taupey but ray has a lot more like i don't know i think it just have a little bit more glitter in it so it really shows quite a bit so let me show it to you let's go here so this is ray and then this one right here is smoke those are the two right there and then another one that is of a great surprise and the only thing with this particular one is that it doesn't show as 
wow in camera you have to see it in person this is the jewel pod from charlotte tilbury in pillow talk and this one right here i mean like it has so much dimension is extremely extremely soft it does have a little bit more of translucency now this one right here pillow talk darling charlotte obviously and her pinks <laughs> Um, yeah, uh, but this is, like I said, very delicate, very feminine. I'm like, this is gorgeous. Let me just swatch it. Oh, if you see it right here, you will see these little specks of glitter. It does have a little bit of blue in it, not only pink. I mean, just gorgeous. And then the last of my kind of glittery, glistening one has to be Chanel. This is Chanel in New Moon. Oh, this is a dream. So soft. Again, another cool tone. A lot of reflectiveness to it. I'm like, it's stunning. Hold on, let me just swatch it here. Look at this. Oh, so beautiful. The one from Chanel, it actually looks wet. Like, that's how it looks. Like, if it's completely wet like that, it's just stunning. In fact, I mentioned it to you that I have three shades on my eyelids, and it's the one in Pantoline. And then, kind of like right in the middle, I put a little bit of the New Moon from Charlotte Tilbury, and then a little bit of Tea Rose from Victoria Beckham, just to give it a little bit of depth. And then going into more of like cream eyeshadows, I will have to say the Laura Mercier Caviar Sticks. They are incredible. Two shades that I have right here that I really love is the one in Copper. So let's see, now I'm gonna need to change hands. <laughs> hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm not used to because I'm not a lefty eye. I go in my right, but okay, I'm gonna try it. <laughs> Sorry, the swatches are not gonna be the best, but there you go. This is in copper. Again, one and done. Let me just show it to you. Let's see if I can get a let me grab. Let me just get a brush. You can blend it right here with so much easy. Look at that. See right there? You can diffuse the edges and it sets by itself. It's just stunning. And then Another shade that I really love is Nude Rose. Now this one right here is what it seems to me a little bit more of like a rose gold shade. There is actually one that says that is rose gold, but it just looks pretty much champagne, at least on my skin tone. And that's another thing that is important to note right here, you know, that I mean like we're talking about that I have a light to medium skin tone. so. How it looks on me, it may look just a little bit different on you. There you go, you see the pink tone right there? I'm like, stunning, stunning, stunning. I love, I'm mean, like, the caviar sticks from Laura Mercier, they are just so good. Okay, let's go right here into another Tom Ford eyeshadow. And this one right here is a cream eyeshadow. This is in the shade Gigolo. So if you like more of like, Still a little bit on the cool tone, kind of like deep, kind of like antique gold. You will love this one right here. This is so good. I'm mean, like, if you have like a tan, like a bronze, this will look amazing. There you go. And this one blends super easy as well. Do you see how deep it is? Let me just put it side by side really quick. Oh my gosh, I know. All of these are just so beautiful. And since we're in Tom Ford, now this one right here is another formulation. This is more Weep. The one that I just showed you in Gigolo, it's like a um, cream. It, it does have dimension, but not much dimension as this one right here. This one is in the shade Platinum and it's literally platinum. Let me show what I mean right here does have that red undertone to it so when you flip it one side will look kind of taupe and the other side will look kind of more you know leaning into like a mauve tone so it just has so much dimension and as you blend it look i'm just gonna go like this you can see right there 
it just blends into like it has its own transition shade <laughs> pretty much this eyeshadow is gorgeous great formulation i mean it will stay all day long on your eyelids and it does increase because it's so so lightweight it's just stunning and then i have right here a liquid eyeshadow from giorgio armani and this is in rose gold i think it's rose gold and this one right here it has a beautiful champagne shade but like even when i'm swatching it right here and if you look at it close it looks kind of like ombre like it's multi-dimensional like you can see the reflectiveness right there oh my goodness this is just stunning this is gorgeous beautiful shade and then going into charlotte tilbury our darling right here I mean she has so many i think one that is has been a staple for me for a long time is the one in rose gold this is one of her cream eyeshadows now this is more of like a moussey type of texture the jewel pot in the other side is more like if you have tried her luxury quad this is kind of like a um, pop shade on a pop <laughs> just like that it's so beautiful okay so this one right here is in rose gold and it does have a little bit more warmth than the one from Giorgio Armani the one from Giorgio Armani I don't want to say that it's cool tone because it's not but it just have a little bit more kind of like reflectiveness in it this one right here from Charlotte Tilbury is just a little bit more subdued and then my favorite mesmerized eyeshadow from Charlotte Tilbury is her new one in Sansa Rose. I think this is just so different, so different from what we have seen. I'm like, it's still that, I'm like, for me, it's not that different because I love mauve tones. And this is like such, you know, it's a cool tone mauve. It does have, oh, look at that shade. Isn't that beautiful? So, so pretty it's not as cool tone as this one's right here but yet it's 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 just giving us something different than you know the regular pinky shades and then one that i'm sure like if you go to sephora and you're looking for a cream eyeshadow this will be the one that a lot of people will point you out to this one is in marie antoinette or i mean she has changed the name to oyster pearl and this one is again another taupey tone oh you see like if you blend the edges look at that cool tone it gives a lot of dimension it's not as deep as this shade right here i mean all of them are stunning I and mean, like you can see kind of like a little bit of a trend right here of what shades i like love them love them all absolutely all of these are just not only beautiful but they all have a little touch of dimension like reflectiveness easy of juice and like there's there's so much that each of these shades give and like literally you will not go wrong with any of these shades and by the way i will have all the details of the shadows that I have been talking about today on the description box below there will be the links in there you know drill and I want to know from you what is that eyeshadow that is your one and done eyeshadow the one that you're like okay whenever I'm on a rush that you need to get out of the door or just simply that you don't have you know sometimes we have those days that it's like yeah I want to put makeup on but I wanted to do it very quick very easy or like you know just to run some errands what is that single eyeshadow that you grab on right away and while you're leaving that comment down below I hope that you will consider and subscribe to my channel make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads mostly right now because I'm doing vlogmas 25 days straight of uploads craziness oh yes I like it yes I'm loving it I'm loving to be able to make you company here during the holidays and i'm just so appreciative that you are welcoming me and that you are giving me time out of your day to watch me so i greatly appreciate all that love and the support you cannot believe it means the world to me 
and if you can help me and come and follow me on my Instagram let's stay connected through there right there I keep you posted of the new makeup releases I also give you close-up images of the products that I'm reviewing swatches and much more if you like this video do not forget to give it a thumbs up also share with family and friends and until the next time I hope you have a beautiful wonderful day bye this magic we keep making In the corner is a bedroom On the